What's up guys, how are you doing today? It's Andrew Roll Player and in the Monkey Visual guys. Today I wanna start kind of mini series of things that I think are pretty important in Path of Exile. It's not entirely the guides, but more like you know things that are really crucial for the game and uh, a starting player should know these things you know, in order to be smart and wise and not waste uh, the potential of the game and not waste uh, the items uh, in the game that can be important. I will be also be talking about some basic mechanics of the game and uh, some important things that you need to know in order to progress you know, better with the game. And first thing that I want to talk about is the Orb of Chance. Uh, many starting players don't know how to use this item properly and basically just you know uh, use it on random items or don't use it at all or stockpile it when i first start, started playing this game i just you know uh, stocked this like crazy and didn't use it because i have no idea what uh, basically what what is the outcome so what exactly orb of chance does orb of chance upgrades a normal item to a random rarity and Unlike uh, Orb of Alchemy or uh, uh, or uh, or an Orb of Transmutation, uh, this orb can upgrade it to any rarity, and it means uniques as well. And it's the only reason why people use the Orb of Chance. Uh, they try to get uniques they want from the normal items. And right now, uh, I will show you an example uh, of how it it would be used. Right now I'm playing the Necromancer and as a summoner I need these boots, they are called the Bones of Ulur. It's a pair of unique silk slippers and um, they will give me one Spectre and one Zombie and different other things. So in order to get these boots uh, and try to get these boots I need to get silk slipper first. Silk, silk slippers are a level 22 item. They require level 22. And what does it mean? Is they only drop in the very early game. Like for example, if you're playing the Merciless, it is a very low chance they will drop in uh, these 70, 60 plus uh, areas. So you need to downgrade yourself to the caverns and something nearby like Act 2 to Act 3 and this is your highest chance to drop silk slippers. These items, the normal items, they are called uh, the crafting base or just the base in Path of Exile. And uh, they, they, they are the items uh, where you apply your orb of chance in order to try and get these uniques. But the, the result is pretty low and the chance is pretty low to get unique, but I alre already chanced my first belt. Uh, I will show you guys, I will be, I was applying, I uh, know, Orb of Chance to the belt. And I got this belt, Mortal Flash. I actually chanced this belt from like the fifth attempt, so Orb of Chance is kind of has a random uh, chance to get uniques and overall it's a low level much lower than uh, than all the gambling from Cadell and Diablo 3 it's much much lower chance but you know people chance stuff it's absolutely possible and uh, basically it works so in order to successfully chance the the unique item that you, uh, that you are aiming for you need first of all to get the proper base and like I said for my unique item the, the base is silk slippers and I, and I need exactly silk slippers nothing else. So I got silk slippers here I've actually farmed this um, uh, the caverns here uh, on cruel I actually farmed this uh, on yeah no not on cruel but on normal yeah I actually farmed this and this is like the best uh, spot uh, to farm silk slippers for me because they require level 22 and what does it mean is at level 22 area they start dropping so that's the whole deal these items they are restricted by uh, the, 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 the level of the area where I am and this is master level 22 and this is where they start dropping so basically if you want to farm the base you need to know what uh, what level requirement your base is. This is 
level 22 requirement level and you need to to go as closely as possible to level 22 level and start farming is there so guys let's try this and uh, let's see what happens as you can see uh, this orb of chance upgrades the items to an absolute random uh, rarity so it can be magic and can be uh, rare and can be unique as well let's try this so far nothing absolutely nothing guys now these are rare as you can see Keep in mind that the chance to get a uh, unique is fucking low, so it's no wonder you know, it, it, it won't work like from the first attempt. This is actually pretty damn nice sleepers, look at this. I will just sell this. get more of this I have them here try to chance again I'm just saving this and chancing you know where I when I want so unfortunately it, unfortunately it didn't work guys Unfortunately, it didn't work. So this, this ones are pretty cool for a you know, low level character. I, I will actually say this. So this is it. This is how chancing works. Basically, you need uh, to aim for the unique that you that you want and spend your orbs of. Uh, or orbs of chance I do not really recommend stacking this like for eternity if you know what unique you really want uh, then just aim for this unique and don't stockpile these guys thanks for watching guys and I hope this was this was uh, no important or uh, informative for you thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video